Here's an AI update that you need to know about. Ideogram 2.0 has just launched and it's crazy good. There's tons of new features that are gonna help you generate exactly the type of image you need for your business or your channel. Now you can choose from five different styles when you're generating your image. They also have powerful magic prompting. And for the text in the image, you can choose your font as well. On top of that, you have control of the aspect ratio and they're working on an API and they have an iOS app. So with all that aside, let's look at the Ideogram editor. Ideogram.ai, so here we have it. And you can still use this for free. If you wanna use the free version, you can have 10 slow credits a day, up to 40 images. But one thing with that is that each time you generate an image with a prompt, you're getting four images. So that total adds up real quick. But if you just wanna try it out and see it for yourself, then use the free version. So heading over to the editor, let's say we want to create a logo. So a logo of a plumbing company. We're gonna just keep it a little vague and you can see here we got the magic prompt. We're gonna turn that on. And we're gonna do one by one aspect ratio. We'll let this be public, people can see this. And then the last one, we're gonna do realistic. This is one of the five styles. That was really fast. So it gives us four choices. First one, plumbing company. You got a wrench there, a pipe, American flag. Did do some more work with the magic prompt. Now this one, not as good, but you know, they still incorporated the wrench in the pipe. Same here, plumbing company, American plumbing company. Right, now let's do a some realistic image. I'm gonna show you each style. A close-up of a 22-year-old badminton player. Let's make it somewhat specific, see what it can do with this. Now we're gonna do realistic, and we're gonna have auto on. And let's do 16 by nine. My wife just messaged me, she's eating rice. You can see that got done real fast. So this looks spot on with what I said. He looks like he's in his early 20s. There's a badminton net behind him. This one, he's celebrating, he won a point. This one, he's actually got the badminton racket and the shuttle. And this one's a side angle. This one is not as good, but every time I generate something, I'm usually happy with um, at least two of the generations. So you can see the model, Ideogram 2.0, realistic style. You got the seed there if you want to use that. Now we're going to generate something for 3D. 3D game character, green, he's a green cube. His name is Cubo. And the color palette, I want this to be jungle. This is a jungle game, so we're gonna be a little more specific. We got four options here. We got the first one. He definitely is a green cube. They made him look exactly what I wanted to look like. And even threw in the apples. These are green apples, and then these are red apples. So I'm overall pretty happy with this. If you are trying to make a video game and this is part of your character concept art, help you get some ideas, I think this will work pretty good. What I like about Ideogram so far is it does not deviate too much from what you tell it to do. Now we're going to generate an anime character. And the color palette, I want to do auto. The color scheme really helps give you artistic control and you can maintain brand consistency. Click on the anime option right here. All right, and it is done with our anime character. I never said what its name was. What I do like about the ideogram versus the mid journey is that it's a lot more lenient in the prompting. In mid journey, you kind of have to know what you're asking it. But with this, with the magic prompt, it kind of helps you, especially for a beginner. Here you can see he's strong. I don't know what's going on in the background of that picture. And he's strong again here. We're gonna do one more logo because I'm gonna show you how it lets you choose your font. So let's do a logo for Jane's attorney and then font. Let's just be fun. Let's see if we can do Comic Sans MS. No one likes that, right? aspect ratio let's do one by one and we're gonna switch it to design so let's see if it actually listens to me and does the font that I want all right the logo is complete for Jane's attorney at law see there we go again it's doing what I told it to do there's a gavel and a book the text is right Jane's attorney at law I win every case your money back that looks like comic sans MS to me I win every case your money back it's win every case your money back all right, so almost perfect. Three out of the four had no mistakes. All right, we're gonna try this one more time with a different font. Our second lawyer's logo is here. James, attorney at law. And there's some weird text there. I never lost a case, haha, -ha, or your money back. James, and then the S is the dollar sign. You know, this is creative. I give him props for that. So I basically tested all the new features. I was able to specify the aspect ratio that I wanted, 16 by nine, one by one. 
or if you do you want to do 9 by 16 portrait mode and I'm just really impressed by how it is able to make these logos and get the text right here's some where I really tried to showcase the realistic style the face isn't too clear but you know we got different styles here this one I think she shouldn't be eating on the road she should be a little more off the sidewalk this one though this one was the best this one's really realistic the food looks realistic the reflection and the water on the table like everything about this is a masterpiece to me so I generated this one here this was a 76 year old retired swimmer from Australia I've heard mixed reviews from this from people saying it's good at young faces but struggles with the older faces to me this looks pretty good you can see the stubble you can see a little bit of wrinkles and texture in the skin so this looks quite realistic and he does look like a retired Australian swimmer and here he is eating pizza in the pool I did not tell it to to have him eating pizza in the pool but it's creative and then here's one of a Pakistani uh, retired cricket player it looks pretty realistic as well here's another one of him on his balcony and here he's on his balcony again wearing sunglasses there's even a reflection this is quite impressive very realistic and now here um, is another anime style I had it do Jokemon it's Pokemon but the characters tell jokes is a form of battle and another logo I did was lie topaz more leads than you can handle this is like a social media marketing company logo hypothetical of course trained by Ty Lopez in his garage another use case if you're a restaurant I think the best logo was this one here better ingredients better pasta Luigi's Restaurante and there's a brick oven in the logo I told it to show the benefits of regenerative farming in a diagram infographic so you know when you tell it to do a lot of words maybe it can get overwhelmed a little bit so some of this stuff it doesn't make any sense but the image still looks pretty good let's see soil health water health biodiversity farmer income so this one almost makes a little more sense how to go fishing this one's good pretty good casting a line and the thing is I didn't tell it what to say when you tell it exactly what words you want it seems to do it pretty well versus if you just give it not enough information it won't be as clear before we close out of this let's look at some examples from the public all right so let's head over to the explore really quick to see some examples of each style that the public have done so looking at what other people have done will give you a really good idea maybe some inspiration or if you look at the prompt they did you can get helped by that let's see so this looks like a real person macro photography photo tiny people on the nose of gargantuan gigantic 30 year old Asian women with glasses all right, let's check out some design examples people have done. Life is a highway, get in gear. This person likes cars. 3D, let's see what 3D characters we got. Wow, these are cool. Spider-Man, who's kind of like a cyborg. This looks kind of like a Disney character. Ravenna, she's got red hair, and then Magic Prompt to add a little bit of stuff. Or let's check out the anime, last one. So here's some examples of anime characters uh, people used AI to come up with. Now, this is cool this is a bunny let's look at the bunny all right so this is cool this is a cool example someone prompted it in a different language maybe Spanish or something and then magic prompt knew what they were asking and made a really good prompt since they didn't provide much details magic prompt will still help you out the last thing that could be excited for some of you is the ideogram API if you want to build your own software that taps into the powers of ideogram Especially with the 2.0, you can use this API here. For more, more details about that, just check out their homepage and scroll down to API. And if you have an iPhone, you can check out the iOS app. What's great about all of this is that their UI is really easy to use. It's perfect for you if you want to do graphic design, and it's up there with the best for generating realistic images too. If you really like exploring everything AI, then check out my video right here, where I show you exactly how to create a music video with nothing but AI. Also, subscribe below if you want to stay up to date with all this. We'll see you soon.